Hello! This is the second attempt to make this video, but whatever. Because last one, I was unable to record. Whoa! This no screen record on PS4. But whatever. Let's do the same shit, but shorter. I have a bit of plan night this time. time. Start by telling you how to be hard. Tight up it actually. Just run forward, get a bit of speed, jump, crouch in there, then jump. That is it. I like when you're. When you have touched the ground. Jump when jump precisely when touch the ground, like with enough frame. And then to. Air strafe, take the left stick, 90 degrees, turn away, and then turn, take the right and turn slowly to the, in the same direction. So to left to air strafe forward, just. Like that. That's how we turn. Left stick left. And you see you'll turn. And you can combat that turning by going the other way. After a bit. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to do good air strafing in the air. To actually allow you to go forward. This is bar on the beacon. Where you can try it. We can practice this shit. But it's really hard to actually do that kind of shit. It's easier to edge strafe when dialoping. Edge strafing will give you speed and it will turn you. It's important to take the left stick fully to the right or to the left. Full 9 degrees. I'm not like halfway because otherwise I'll just turn. Actually, doing anything, anything happening to fully to the left, fully to the left, and you can if and if you're skilled enough, you can do this shit. Yeah, you can generate speed from nothing in S. Kinda hard to do that though, but yeah, that's what edge tripping does. Now on to grappling. To get over a wall, like an object like this, you have to take the left stick backwards, and then after a bit, you take the left stick in a half circle forward. Going in that circle gives you extra time to get like tight, and going backwards will give you also extra time to go up. Then you can also double jump to get extra height. You wanna double jump before you take the left starting to before you start to take the left stick forward in a half circle. Again, half circle are the god and savior when it comes to grappling. And just move, and just taking the left stick to the left or right. Yeah, but you can also you also can, you also just get speed doing this since it's basically just a slingshot, but laterally instead of horizontally. You know, instead of going to the sides all the way like this, you just go backwards. You just go like up. It won't give you as much speed as a slingshot, but. Yeah, it gives you some speed. To an actual slingshot, you do basically the same thing, taking the left stick back as take as when you're doing. You do basically the same thing as when you're doing this, except you start at nine at nine degrees. You don't start backwards. You start like this. Then you turn the left. Then you take the left stick slowly forward, slowly forward in a half circle. It's important that it's a half circle. That is because. When you're dragged, when you like, when you get to the end of the half circle, you have been dragged in by the grapple, and being dragged in in a circle makes gives you more speed. So yeah, that's why. And you want to do the same thing with the right stick as you do with the left stick, but more precise. Not like full lock or whatever. You don't want to look fully to the left because that will be too fast. You can see how, how I am moving my. You can see it, yeah. 
see I'm actually drifting in there. That is because I get more speed. Yeah. I'll just do a bit more, some more grapples. And when grappling, height is more important than how far away the grapple point is horizontally. And you want to jump when the grapple is connected to the wall, or whatever you're, you know, grappling. So now I want to jump. Now. Or a bit after that, actually. I want to jump a bit after it, actually. And you can hear the sound. Thanks. And connecting and disconnecting. When double jumping and air if you double jump, when you're like flying from there and escaping, you want to make sure you double jump with the left stick forward. Otherwise, you double jump to the side. Not, to, not like that, but because the pipe. You do like, that instead of this. Yeah. Now what happens is that we're going forwards. So that's why you want to double jump with the left stick forward. Four war mechanics. Oh no, this one more thing with the grapple. Take pause the video now and like practice this shit. Well, you not not pause. Don't pause the video. Okay. In a tight space like this, you don't want to go out. You want to go like you want to turn the screen like that and hold the elastic forward. It won't give you as much speed, but you're like not crashing through the walls and get stuck in it. So, yeah. If, and when you're not in a tight space, you want to do it like normally. Yeah. And doing your, getting your own technique down is kind of important in just practicing this shit in multiplayer. Because multiplayer is not boring. Yeah. This really important to, you know, learning, to be good. You can get like this if you've played non-stop for like 5 months, then you'll get as good as I am. Whoa! You don't need to stack, and yeah. And you know how you switch, you try and you want to like switch the direction on the air strafe when like after a double jump or jump. You don't need to do that, but it is like preferred since you know it gives you a time thing to it. You know I can just do this. Oh wait, <laughs> maybe we should get more speed. I can just do this. Oh wait, I'll show it in there instead. Put the slingshot in there. Can I just do this? Like, no, that wasn't really good. Fuck me. Let's only shot that way. I can just do like this. Without changing the direction. But if you do it as an air, as a double jump. No, not only will the double jump give you more speed. Yeah, you'll get more speed. And it, it's kind of necessary to do a ton of small air strafes just better and easier to just do two big air strafes so yeah on to wall mechanics you'll you will grab the wall when the hand is out of your screen so you know the left hand not pulling holding the trigger but on the barrel when that hand lifts leave your screen that's when you have to grab the wall it's also this song and the tilt of the screen. Yeah, and knowing when you grab the wall, it's really important for wall kicks, as you can see. And you, I time, I time my wall kicks from when the I the hand leaves my screen. You can't do wall kicks without speed. But you, you need speed ready. to do wall kicks efficiently. Okay, let's speed up. Go there. Jump off. Wall kick. Wall kick. Wall kick. Wall kicking allows you not to lose speed from slingshots, and it allows you, and if you do it properly, 
like really fast, like within one frame, you'll get speed too. Yeah. Titan ready. Call it any time, pilot. Ah. Now for end boosting and edge boosting. Edge boosting is when you jump off a sharp edge, like you jump the last possible second when the wall leaves the screen. Now. Pilot, your Titan is standing by. No. Call it when ready. small is kind of good if you're no, if you're in the air not moving and you can do this small or well, when you're just about to land or like you know you don't know whenever but preferably you want to do big guns yeah. you, can't, you can't edge boost off like a curved edge like that it needs to be a sharp edge you'll feel when you get an edge boost. Maybe you can even feel you like slide down but then you go up again. Yeah. Now for end boosting. You know when it when the game pushes you off your on the wall? Ready, pilot. Standing by for your call. If you jump at that last possible second you get a speed boost. So Wait, and wait, and wait, then jump. You engage when you're about to get pushed off the wall by the sound. And, you know, how you're moving. Your screen is moving. Combining edge boosting and boosting and wall kicking will give you a lot of speed even without any ability. Yeah. Then we have the issue of how can you fucking grab the wall again? You need an angle. And like a you need a specifically sharp angle. Well, not specifically sharp, you need like a different angle wall. So you need I can jump here, then I can go over here, get the wall again. But then I can't do the same thing in this in here. Oh wait. Then I can't do the same thing in here. So the wall needs to have angles of like a specific amount for you to be able to re-grab it. And practicing like air strafing and yeah, to if it goes straight if I pummel straight into a wall then I can't wall kick and expect to get speed from it. I need to air strafe. Asterisk, you know, to change the direction my speed is going at in order to get a good wall kick. Like this, I need to do this shit. But actually, not grab the wall. That would be preferable. Your Titan is ready. I know what I can do now. I usually can do this really good. Yeah, whatever. You know, we can practice going from that wall to that wall to there. If you can do that, you're pretty good. Notice how more wall kicks are now. When I'm jumping and stuff. Yeah. Also, when air strafing and slingshotting, your, your like, movements need to be really smooth. Fudge, I don't think there's like other pilots in this lobby. It's kinda scary. But whatever. Something else, something else. To reiterate when. To, well, to reiterate when slingshotting, half circles. Or when grappling in general, half circles. Just do half circles and you'll be fine. You don't do half circles when 
I think. Then you don't do house circles. Just scrap the stuff equals house circles. You can also do dishes. Titan ready. Call it any time, pilot. Yeah, and the dishes. Since the grapple allows you to use grab a wall. And if I don't do the grapple, I just fall. No way. Here, see? Gotta put the grapple. You can regret the same watch twice. That's why that works, and then, you know, this. Just can see how my grapple is like actually like going down. And it's a weird kind of glitch in this game. Your Titan is ready, pilot. Standing by for your call. Not the time walk here today, you get a lot of speed. And then proper uh, traffic when stand up and gives you speed too. Yeah. Whatever. Titan stuff. Or should I? Should do another video. I don't know. I'll just do it now. It's like 20 minutes left in this game. No Star Wars. Stand by for Titan Falls. You know what? You know his name. So I'm playing No Star. Yeah. No. Doing like this. It's kinda of obvious, but you do that not done. Turbo Turbo engine. You know, you can flee much easier and wipe front this. You can kill much faster, you can just jump the shot. And uh Small angles is the most done. And you please don't take the traps like here on the corner. So you know, you can't see them, but as they go around the corner, they get caught. And it's not someone's caught by the tether trap. Something is stuck in this soul. Also, and if you're getting shit by someone, you can shoot them like the smoke. If you like this, then they will see you. Then you can say, dude, wow. we are like, wow, what the fuck happened? Wow. So, yeah. And here, there's some tight space here. Then, if you put down the exhaust missile, right here, or like anywhere, really, you can punish the enemies for pushing up. And, like, stall them. Or, like, give them damage. The legions with the their shield up is really ex like really success successful or what's the word vulnerable to discuss discuss so, you know if you're a legion you can only do like this uh, and it'll take loads of damage. Okay. Breaking yeah, damage. That's why that's the result of Prime against Legions and in tight spaces. Yes. Think that Viper Thrusters gives you extra speed. And boost dashing off of, off of like a high edge, like some a higher surface. Makes you boost the bigger further. And so yeah. And I believe you can ask for if in Titans too, but like, uh eh. So yeah, and you can also use the hover. Enemies are going and pushing up, you can hover, you can people. Just use hover to juke people basically. Yeah. So yeah. And with no stop, be in the background. Get people angry at you. Draw people's attention. 
And if you draw someone's attention, that's better. You can't talk to me, so pull back. Run away to the next. Oh, so the next uh, place you can go. Run away. Talk to me, so wait for them. Also, pretty important, the trap takes a second to activate. So when running away with someone, put the trap in front of you, not behind you. Also, did this technique fly and pick out in the last second and go in again. It's kind of to do, but I kind of did there. Try it. I'll try it again. This. Do that, basically. Don't worry if you have like enough dashes. Do that. You can do that, and people like won't expect it at all. Or just bash. Basically, the most of is peaking life. Peak as far as you can. And you have to say, most of can get up to like high places. For example, the and some other places on other maps. There's a video like all most of the places you can get to or something like that. And when using the core, be careful of stuff like this. Them, and people can hide behind. So yeah, that is mostly in a nutshell. I don't think I will do another time in this video. So what I did here was call an inject brave. I'll probably get back. No, I'll, t I'll see. Inject drifting is basically like. Uh, Trifing, but you start by you know taking the left stick left and then doing that and then slowly actually uh, get back, you know, aim and then slowly uh, drift back. Or you know you can just uh, drift like a complete lap like this. You can just uh, drift like this, complete lap. Then you don't have to do like weird stuff that I did. Basically, go back and watch that ejection if you want to learn. If you know how to air strafe, then go back and learn. Watch that ejection. Let's replicate me. I think the best result is when you air strafe like behind you. Like, ejective, like in a circle. But, eh. Or no, you inject safe like this. Oh, well, I'll to see. Oh, no. When you inject safe like this, ooh. And then you go off in this direction. You get tons of speed. There's tons and tons and tons of speed from inject safe you can get. Or, you know, when you have some more experience going to practice the inject safe thing. No, I won't do that turn. I can show you some slingshot stuff. Boom. See how my aim got back in. Yeah, I prioritize height over distance horizontally. Oh. When slide hopping, if your cursor doesn't move like this, the laser cursor moves. I guess, yeah, the, the fire reticle moves, the better edge of it is. Perfect, dash, a perfect no, slide up. Perfect slide up is when the reticle doesn't move at all. So, yes, did a couple of there. Basically, these ones I'm doing right now. Perfect slide ups. Obviously, you won't be able to get perfect side ups over like rough terrain. Terrain. 
But yeah. So perfect side off compared couple with everything. Can really like do this speed. When going on inclines just bam jump. When going going like down a hill, just don't just jump less. No, there aren't any holes in this map, which I guess is a follow mine, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm going over like something like that, with, like doing like that. Double jump earlier, like now. Obviously, you won't be able to double jump. You won't have a double jump later, but you know, you don't do that to get speed. If I would want to get speed from from here, I would do this. You know. And generally, you don't grapple from the slow stuff. From stuff that's slow like that. Or you do. No, that is actually something to do. To learn. Grappling from low buildings. Grappling from low buildings will, I think, give you. I think it will go. You go. Will go faster. It will go faster grappling like this, or at least you'll go like closer to the ground. Then, if grapple, like a high place like that. So grappling high place like this is good. Then we wanna let's get that side of the map. But doing a low place is good when you just want to go fast generally. Or whatever. You know, figure it out yourself. And as with an ending game, the best way to get good at this game, just practice it. Just play it. For five months straight. Don't take a break. Don't fucking sleep. Just play this game. That is how you get good. Don't be a casual pleb. Also, these short range weapons to force you to move. Don't just stand with a spit for can. Instead of doing this, that won't teach you how to move. Doing this will teach you how to move. Bah! So, bye again. Hello, I'm not actually going to end the video here, and by the way, this is post-production, so, yeah, the video is continuing, some tons stuff coming up later. Back to the normal video about actual shit, or, no, what is the video show this shit. It's kind of neat, this, the hell I might say. What is it, five kill streak? An intense? Target stuff. There's some slingshots now. If you wanna watch the day, 12 seconds in silence. Okay. Even though it is a while ago. And <laughs> it's not the best clip ever. But whatever. And here. The Doom. Cause he did something.
This is not good. I'll tell you when it's good. That was decent. But you know, you can do that without touching the ground. Final state, I'll do tell now. Woo! I know certain president will love it. Stand I used to rocket barrage. Does the rocket barrage? Oh, I'm about to shoot my rocket barrage. <laughs> rocket. I'm about to shoot my rocket now. Right, whatever. Rocket barrage. These things, you can kill them. They will kill, they will be killed. Maybe pull up some clips of that now. Maybe if I have them. But yeah. I do have clips, and here I am denying Ronan an execution on me, and I'll do the same thing for the North Star in a moment. Two, the, if the Ronan would have shot, tried to shoot me there, he would not have been able to shoot me. Then, yeah, he was on the other side of the shield, and he can't shoot through them. Rocket and he wasn't able to go through the shield Barrage. because I was punching him. Kicks you back. Just punching kicks you back. Yeah, you know, watch the hull. Like I reduce whatever. him too. Yeah, Rock Bush just gives him a damage. Just stream state. And watch Donnelly. from yeah. where he goes. Or from, from how much. Watch how much health he has in the game. That's right. For me and him. Yeah. That will, that will kick them back. Like, they won't be able to damage you. But you're damaging them. You can also hide your shield in smoke. And be careful of Scorches putting their flame canisters above you. So be careful if you have like this shield here. Be careful of Scorches shooting their shield here. Flame canisters here. And putting flame down here. Be careful of that. Tom players. Scott players, go fucking get him. Put your flame canisters over their fucking shield on the walls. Bounce it off everything. Yeah, Tom players, go get him. Scorch players. Fucking pull it. Scorch their fucking asses. Woo. Yeah, overcore on Tone is really good. You know. Rocket barrage I used and this reinforced part of the wall. But slow does slow stun your fire rate. As you know. Post SO, decent. Eh. Yeah, turbo engine. I use turbo engine since you know, bullet and stuff. But overcross also good. Nuclear ejection is only good on like Titans that can slow people down, like Monarch, Ronin, and. You know. No star, I just shut off. Am I making it on? Yes it is. Nice. You know, you can just let read those messages if you want to. Yeah. My turn is the eleven. Yeah. 
decent. But watch my fucking scorch. Fuck a legion. What's more? What more? What more? Oh yeah. If someone has been popped like that. You can shoot here. Yes. Sometimes. You can you can shoot without a tone place like that. And against another tone, if you have rocket barrage, wait for it till they pit up the public wall. Then use the rocket barrage and up your and then just punch them. For being a stick ass. Yeah. And you know, you can use the splash damage to kill Pyro. You know? And kill Pirates the tiding around the corner like this. You can shoot there. If someone's here, you can shoot to splash damage and get a rocket fire off. You don't wanna do that stuff. You don't wanna do that stuff, you know. Putting down the shield if in the beginning of your dash. And I'll put down the shield in the end of the dash. And I guess I can do more one more ejection. So what I do is I do that and then I go then I ash rift that way. But I'll try to I'll try to ash rift like behind me. Pilot. Yeah, like, you can do that too. Just do an air strafe and then completely turn around. But if you don't want to do that, just do boom, and like yeah, that showed you. I showed you that. I did. Just mocking of like round stuff is an art in itself. No, you just have to practice that. Maybe by playing get you level seven. The best game mode there ever is. Because Glitch is the best map there has ever been. And I will leave you now. If I haven't missed anything. I'll, let's look real quick. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's that. I guess grab the stars. Is thing, you know, yeah, I can do this shit, and then you can also lose yourself, or not, well, whatever, you can boost yourself with the frags, just be careful, so you don't die, Gravity star boosting, woo, put it down, great, run, get boost, now I will end the video,
Hello again, me from post production. Wow, three tanks in a row, amazing. Well, yeah, much videos I'm gonna post on like Titans gameplay. Do that, that'd be awesome. And if you made it this far, thanks you. Isn't I amazing? 